Welcome to the channel, and thank you, viewer, for clicking on the video. Today, we're playing some Into the Breach. It is a top-down turn-based strategy game, a type of game that's something I've never seen before, something I think I'm really going to enjoy. So if I'm going to enjoy it, then maybe you guys will really enjoy it too. That's why you're here on the channel, right, and checking out the video, because you enjoy the content. So hey, if you guys do find the video a little bit pleasurable, then feel free to like the video down below. But how do you know if you even want to like the video if you haven't even seen the video yet? So how about we jump right into it? Let's get started. Welcome, DigiDees, to a brand new series here on the channel. That's right, it is Into the Breach with a brand new profile called The Legal Pyro. I know, but hey, just so you know, I'm recording this at about 1 a.m. in the morning because I got distracted watching police dash cam videos. I mean, come on, the things are like crack. You just can't stop. <laughs> So what is Into the Breach? Now, this is one of those few circumstances where I've already made the intro before I've recorded the video, meaning that you've already got a short explanation of exactly what it is that this game has to offer. So how about we jump right on into it with enough talk? Let's get started. A new game. Oh, uh, immediately getting a little bit of story. Uh, Humanity destroyed a vec threat unstoppable mission failed. All right, great, awesome. Open a breach. Time to go back and try again. By Ralph. Time to go in and try again? Uh, so, oh, I was just about to ask, so does that mean that this is a time traveling kind of concept? And right, right there in the very bottom left, time traveler. Well, I guess that answers that question. We have Ralph Carlson. Gain plus two bonus XP per kill. That's not too bad. We can change time traveler. Oh, dear Lord. So there are lots of different time travelers, lots of different availabilities here. Okay, so what do we have? We're gonna go ahead, we got our plus two bonus XP per kill. And we also have, are these separate mechs here on the ground? A combat mech, a titan fist, punching adjacent tile, damaging and pushing it. We have a cannon mech, fires a powerful projectile that damages and pushes its target. And we have artillery, something that launches from far away and launches enemies in multiple directions. Ooh, kind of has a area of effect, kind of push away effect very nice plus two damage buildings are immune okay very notable i see right there in the very bottom right it does one damage buildings are immune and plus two damage and that's not too bad in the cannon plus one damage plus one damage not too bad and combat mac it has a dash and plus two damage oh i see now those aren't necessarily their abilities they seem to have little slots that maybe we can upgrade them in the future not entirely certain change squad so there are different types of like different squads we can start off with seems we only have three different types of mechs very interesting honestly i'm excited to see exactly what this game has to offer because i like turn-based strategy games i like top-down kind of strategy games stuff that i don't necessarily get the chance to play all too often so hey if you guys really enjoy the video while you're kind of watching the content feel free to let me know down below what it is that you enjoy about the series maybe what it is that you don't like about the series but again we talk more than enough for god knows how many people let's get started uh we will probably be doing i'm gonna go ahead and say normal just because we are starting out and we do have pilot abilities on advanced pilot abilities enable advanced pilot abilities pilots will gain new skills as they level up recommended for anyone who has a good grasp of the core game now i have no grasp of the core game but i think the idea of pilot abilities is a nice additive to the game in general i mean we have something rare we we're talking about before carl has a plus two bonus kill like bonus xp per kill so why don't we go ahead and just add on more abilities on top of that on a normal one let's get started Ooh, kind of drop on down. Oh, they're just, they're orbit, they're ODST dropping into the land. We'll hold this timeline no matter what. Okay, yeah, we're definitely dealing with like a time thing going on here. Complete three islands to unlock, two, one. So we are starting here on Archive Incorporated. This museum island recreates old earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. Okay, so we're back in time, but so we're back in time, but even back in time, we're actually in the future where like the earth got flooded. I'm not really sure what continents these are supposed to be, but maybe like North America, Africa, Antarctica, and like, I don't know, Asia, something like that. Hell, I don't know. Like, what does Archive Incorporated have with CEO Dewey Elms? Oh, dear Lord. Civilizations of past had a military strength vastly exceeding ours. Good thing we preserved some of their old war machines. I'm guessing that's probably our squad. There is a combat simulation available to get new commanders up to speed with mechanized combat. Would you like to launch a simulation? No! I know exactly what I'm doing. Damaged power grid. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> the power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. Okay, so we got to keep that in mind. The VEC, whoever they are, caused the damage before you arrived, but there will be opportunities to restore it. So we're already down two things. We can restore it as we move along. It's good to know. Mission rewards. Every mission has a different potential reward for completing bonus objectives, and you won't be able to do every mission on the island. So choose carefully. 
Oh, wait a second. I Okay, let's process that for a second. You won't be able to do every mission on the island. Okay, missions with more potential rewards will have additional dangers. Good. Reactor core is used to upgrade your mechs. Grid power restores your power grid. If your power grid reaches zero, you lose. Notable, don't let that power grid fall down to zero. And corp reputation used to purchase items once the island is secure. Okay, so we don't really get to purchase items until the island is fully liberated, I suppose. We don't want the grid power to fall down. And we should probably kind of try to search for those reactor cores to upgrade our mechs. Very good. All very straightforward kind of concepts. Well, I'm looking as though that we only really have one or two primary areas to go to. We have the Corporate HQ, no VEC detected. The Retrospect Park, Defensive Shields active, destroy the dam as a bonus objective. And we have the Storage Vaults. We kill at least seven enemies, protect the coal plant, and warning tidal waves? Look, I'm going to go ahead and go on a limb right here. I don't know what any of that means. So how about we start out a little bit simpler and go with the Retrospect Park? Because in retrospect, that sounds a little bit easier to start off with in our very first match. I don't know what's going on yet. So let's just destroy the dam, I suppose. Destruction of the dam is rigid. It's necessary is a necessary evil. It will create a natural barrier between us and the burrowing vec. The burrowing vec? So what, they like dig underground? Start mission. This is a shield. It'll block damage and any negative effects. Fire, freezing, acid. Wait, acid. Why are those in like acronyms? A C I D. That's not acid. That's 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 A C I D. I don't know what that stands for. Like automatic catastrophe interference detection. The hell, I don't know. I just I can't believe I can just came up with those four words alone. Only directed damage will remove the shield. Non-damaging negative effects will have no effect. That's a lot of effects that seems to be going on. And oh my God, hang on. I just realized what the vet are. They're right there at the bottom of the map. We're fighting more bugs or like a lizard. I, I think I think I see. I mean, one of those looks like a dragonfly. Look, between starship troopers, hell divers, and now this game, apparently bugs are the natural enemy of everyone in life. All humans, all humans, they want nothing more than just to eradicate all bug life here on the planet. All right, fair enough. Well, we need to drop down our mechs here and kind of deploy our forces. We can put down our kind of melee mech there in the very front. We have one that has a little bit kind of medium range. We'll just put one right behind him. And I suppose we'll put our artillery in the back. A very straightforward kind of line objective here. We want to protect these kind of look city skyscraper looking locations. And immediately he is moving next to it. And oh my God. Okay. Well, uh, on several things going on. Enemies emerging. An enemy unit will emerge here next turn. You can temporarily block enemies from spawning, but it'll damage the blocking unit. Ooh. So I can like maybe like go stand on top of it and it'll prevent the enemy from spawning. Yeah, Vec will merge here. Any unit blocking the space will take one damage. Okay, notable. Well, this town is about to be hit by this hornet. I knew it. They are bugs. They are bugs. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just move on over. And I guess I just punch him? Two damage for that. Very nice. Whoa. Wait, did the bug just say whoa? <laughs> I think the bug just said whoa. I don't know how I feel about that because that's whoa. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move up my cannon ability. Taurus Cannon, Brute Class Weapon. Fires a powerful projectile that damages and pushes the target away. So that does one damage, pushes him. He has three health. Didn't realize he has three health. I was kind of hoping he only had two health like the last one. Well, what is the range on the artillery? If I go ahead and like maybe like fire from here. Can I fire from here? If I go to the fire mode. Okay, so the range on the artillery is quite literally the entire map, but can only shoot in three or maybe four cardinal directions. It can't hit anything directly next to it. That is notable. So it can fire in all four directions, but not directly next to it. Good. How to back out of that? Beautiful. Let's get in front of the kind of infrastructure, the cities there. Fire off our cannon, blast it into oblivion. Beautiful. He has one health left. So there are still two left here on the map with two more about to emerge. We need to destroy the dam that's right so we need to destroy that huh okay we have victory in four turns so we have more than enough time to go ahead and kind of you know protect ourselves away from these bugs and oh he has a range okay he has range damaged max your max will automatically repair all damage after battle if a mech is reduced to zero health the pilot dies and the mech is disabled for the rest of that battle wait okay the mech is disabled for the rest of that battle so we can have these mechs kind of die off in the middle of battle but you know it'll come back the next battle but we will lose the pilot do we have a pilot i think our pilot our time traveler is in the combat mech the mech is on fire it'll take one damage every turn mechs can repair status effects but cannot attack the same turn that they repair notable right so he's on 
fire, huh? I should probably do something about that. It's attacking us. No, threatened. I'm threatened? Oh, there's a lot going on. There is a lot happening. I need to turn down the simulation speed because there I'm straight into this. This is, this is normal mode, right? This is this is still normal mode? <laughs> I, I think this is still normal mode. Well, webbed mech. This unit has been webbed. Webbed units cannot move, but they can still attack. Notable. So we could attack this guy and it will push him back. Ooh, you know what? Because remember, unit standing on top of these spawning tiles. They block the unit from spawning, but also they take one damage. So if I go ahead and fire off on this guy, push him back, I get unwebbed. He is now on top of the tile, which is he's going to take one damage next turn, which means I can go ahead and probably use my artillery. Yeah, let's move over here. Use our artillery, launch it at this book, take him out. Oh, oh, hang on. That water will clog its lungs in no time. I didn't think it was going to push the bug into the water. This unit filled the water, killing it instantly. Instantly. Okay. I thought maybe it was just going to like push up against a barrier and still be stuck on top of this tile. Okay. Well, I'm still on fire <laughs> and I cannot move. You. It seems as though that you can't move and you can't fire then move. I don't know. I was webbed. So maybe I just lost my movement speed. Now, my combat mech is a little surrounded at the moment, but it does do two damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out this dragonfly looking SOB. Try to get that taken care of. One less vec disposed of, beautiful. And why are you making little symbols? Okay, well, I think that is everybody. Let's go ahead and end the turn. I mean, so far I'm I'm enjoying the game. I mean, I, I like this concept already, just playing it. I think it's fun. I like this top-down tile-based strategy. I think you have a lot of time to think about your movements. I think it allows a lot of kind of freedom in how you choose to move your units around. My God, there is a lot still happening, but you it is definitely a little bit more difficult than I anticipated because this is the very first mission and we are obviously already having a little bit of difficulty. Not a lot, you know, not a ton, but enough to be a bit worrisome. So we do have a pilot in here, Nicola Kirk. Right, so I don't know what I can necessarily do about that. I can maybe, let's go ahead and shoot this salamander. It's actually going to push away the cannon guy, right? And it's not gonna hurt him, but it will push him. Beautiful, so that gets my shot off, which means that the cannon guy can actually go ahead and move maybe up and out of the territory to avoid taking any damage, then repair one damage and remove the fire beautiful yeah let's go ahead and just repair so not only does it get rid of the fire but also he does get one health back so kind of saving me almost two health so this guy is about to hurt the kind of city structure there which i'm not very fond of not gonna lie but these guys are about to attack my artillery i need to get that dam broken which is a bit concerning we have victory in two turns are they gonna be able to destroy the civilian building in two turns do we need to save the civilians I mean, look, let's be honest here. Comment down below. Do we need to save people? Come on. I mean, what's your opinion on saving a civilian population while an entire horde of bugs invade your city? Think back to your time in Hell Divers, maybe in Starship Troopers. Do the civilians really need saving? Let's be real here. <laughs> Is it in the interest of the company? So I can actually move on over here next to this location get a punch off at least on one of these guys to move him out of the territory. I am down to two health. So hopefully they don't like all target me and completely destroy my mech before I have an opportunity to really get him out of there. I wanted to move him a little bit closer to try to get to that dam. I'm just kind of hoping on the idea that we'll win in two turns. Oh, right. Okay, so he does destroy the building in a single hit. This building tile was damaged, so your city power grid was reduced. Your primary goal is to prevent this. Wow, okay, so even losing a single building reduced our power grid there at the top we do take a hit there please do not kill me oh my god he he's threatening another skyscraper no okay good he just he just webbed me that is perfectly fine um it may not be perfectly fine vec poisons enemy cyan provides a passive bonus to all other vec killing it removes the bonus hold left control while hovering over the side to investigate its ability Oh, so handy. Passive bonus. Well, you're not a water tile. Soldier Siam. Flying units can move over any terrain tile. Notable, so it's not going to drown. All other Vec receive plus one HP as long as Scion is living. Ooh, okay. So, what do we want to do here? I am a little perplexed. 
So I think what I'm actually going to do here, funny enough, I'm going to go ahead and put my artillery there, take a shot. I think, am I going to lose one health immediately by getting into that fire? Um, that is, I'm going to undo that move because I'm like actually going to move my artillery closer to this other one. So I can go ahead and hit this guy, push my mech to the right, freeing him away from the fire and from the other mech, get close enough to actually go ahead and punch the dam. Swimming robots. Okay. I, uh, there is a lot that just happened. First of all, what did it just tell me about swimming robots? Swimming robots. Mechs cannot use their weapons when standing in water. So the robots don't drown instantly. That's good to hear. And uh, he is still alive. So that's also good to hear. I'm going to go ahead. And what do I want to do? I can go ahead and push this guy into the into the base of the building, but that's going to probably destroy it. And I don't think I can actually fire over targets. Okay. Can I undo several moves? Can I undo moves at all? No, because I would love to get that artillery back one additional space to try to kind of postpone the idea, try to move him back in that space to try to get this Vec, you know, this Scorpion taken out. A little concerning. So if I go ahead and shoot this guy, is, it, is he going to break into the building? I think he might break into the building, and that is a problem. If I go ahead and do this, yeah, it says it's going to push him into it and destroy it. So... I guess naturally just let him do it anyway. We're going to lose a power grid here, which is a problem, a big problem. In fact, immediately on the very first mission, we are running out of power grid. But hey, we're still very new to this. We still don't know what's going on. Let's see what this turn brings. They're going to destroy the city, right? Yeah, power loss, 97 casualties. I mean, whatever. Big whoop, 97 people didn't need them. <laughs> they're fleeing victory thank you yeah everybody is saved please nobody pay attention to the burning corpses and burning buildings behind me because uh look i got destroyed the dam i got the region secured right i mean i destroyed their dam i destroyed the power generation right that seems amazing thank you rift walkers the destruction of that dam will delay the vec while we try to get more military technology back online yeah, honestly, who needs the civilians anyway? Let's continue. What else do we got here? Region secured. Nice. So we do have the storage vaults. Kill at least seven enemies and protect the coal plant. And I don't know what tidal waves are. But you know what? What's the best way of finding out other than just jumping right on into it? Let's go. The offshore volcano is causing tidal waves along the coast and may help wash away the Vec threatening the area. Okay. And a lot of the buildings seem very concentrated in the same area. So it may be a little bit easier to go ahead and kind of protect this territory. Now, I do wish I got my turn first, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Ground tile, go ahead and protect that building from that distance. This cannon apparently can't really shoot through or over target. So I'm going to go ahead and drop him. I'm going to drop him. I'm going to say it back behind the other mech. And because the artillery can hit from basically any range, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put him a little bit further back in that territory. I'm gonna put him on top of these trees. Hang on, let me take this because that way he can get over to these buildings if he's needed to. Confirm. You hear something? What's that noise? Mission start. Let's clear the area. Oh wow, that tidal wave is moving in fast. Um, so he is immediately going near the water. Threatened. Warning. 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 Three of them coming next turn. Wow. Okay, so each of these guys have two health. I think what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go ahead because I have the capability to push targets. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit. Where is he? He's going to hit my cannon. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and take out this dragonfly with my two damage. Boom. Done. Fantastic. Now this, my artillery, funny enough, I can go ahead and move him over here and take a shot on the ground and probably push him into the water. Yes, it does. It pushes him into the water. That's one way to wash the Vec away. You don't got to hit him. You got to use the water to your advantage. And I'm going to use the Taurus Cannon to go ahead and hit this other Dragonfly. Yeah, so look at that. It can't shoot through my big mech. And it can't shoot through the other target or through this Dragonfly. It can only hit targets directly in his line of sight. And stuff getting in the way is going to be an issue. So go ahead and shoot him. Beautiful. Now, we do have three enemies spawning here. But the water is a little bit closer. So we might be able to use that to our advantage. Is it still going to increase even further onto land? Wow. Um, yeah. Yes, it is. It is going even further. 
and even further beyond that water seems like it's gonna be an issue it does seem to be a missing the cities which is good to know um how do i want to remedy this entire situation so this guy and that guy are going to be a problem this scorpion and that soldier sign just realizing you can't necessarily see my cursor maybe i should turn that on you know what hang on right here live editing capture cursor yeah yeah now look at it now you know where my cursor is and all the dumb things i keep on hovering over <laughs> well hey i think i mean immediately i'm gonna go ahead and just shoot this vex straight into the water that's right he's flying Ooh, that's right he flies because he has wings because <laughs> he has wings well huh can i undo that attack no i cannot undo that attack unfortunate so what i can do instead is that because these guys do get moved around if i shoot this guy he pushes into the vec and the vec pushes into the other mech so if i go ahead and punch you it hits the other one they both hurt i take my artillery shoot this one and it hurts the other does he get pushed he does still get pushed unfortunately he does still get pushed onto the mech and does a little bit of damage However, I did just notice that one just got absorbed into the water. So even if he's hovering above the water, he still got taken out. That is notable. In turn, please. They do seem to be kind of focusing on my units, which is good because I don't want them to hit the power grid, apparently. Uh, we've already lost two power things from last mission, so we got to be careful about this as well. We got to uh, we got to kind of move our units out of the way now. Run. Oh, my God. Um. Well, I don't. Well, my combat mech doesn't drown in water so the combat mech could be fine right so i'm gonna go ahead and shoot i i can't i need to move first and then shoot right um huh right <laughs> i'm sitting here thinking how do i want to do this um i am going to i am going to take hmm right i need to think for a second okay so i figured it out i don't have to be too concerned my units can move into the water and not drown instantly however they cannot attack when they're in the water but that is perfectly fine because what i'm gonna want to do here is super important i'm gonna want to take i'm gonna go ahead and take my cannon guy move backwards to avoid what's about to happen i'm gonna move him back take my artillery shoot this vec which also pushes back my own mech which is fine because i need this guy to hit this dragonfly before he hurts the power plant now that is all fine and dandy however this guy is, i'm gonna lose i'm gonna i'm gonna ooh, i'm going to lose power again <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to lose power again and yeah i can't really attack anywhere with this cannon that 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 i'm gonna lose more of my power grid that is notable so i will just end my turn and see what happens you still have units that can act you will lose their turn continue yes now is it really gonna take only a single hit is it really gonna take a single hit it does take only a single hit and they leave all right i see how it is you're gonna take off one shot at a skyscraper and leave the territory fine whatever we didn't even want you anyway we did get back a little bit of a power grid because we protected the coal plant, so we do end up breaking even. Good to know. Plus 10 XP, plus 1 XP, plus 11 XP. Wow. So I am a little bit close to leveling up my characters. I wonder exactly what happens when I do that. Corporate reputation. As you secure regions and complete bonus objectives, your reputation with the local corporation will increase. You can spend reputation on supplies at the end of the island. Beautiful. Well, hey. DigiDs though, I tell you what, we've been playing for the better part of around 20 minutes and honestly, I've been enjoying every moment of it. It does seem a little bit like a roguelite because we do have the capability to go ahead and upgrade our, our, our mechs. We can get new squads, we can get new time travelers, new abilities. I don't think we're necessarily, you know, designed to be winning these islands on the very first try, but I'm going to try my damnness to get as far as I possibly can. So if you have advice on how I can be doing things better, maybe nuances to the game that you are more aware of than I am being brand new to the game, please, by all means, leave them in the comments down below. But hey, I think that's good enough for today's episode. Again, we've been playing for about 20 minutes. I've been having a lot of fun. I hope you guys have been having fun. I look forward to more episodes because regardless, there are going to be more episodes on this and I hope you've been enjoying them. 
So hey, I still don't know how to do any of these outros because I like to ramble on for way too long. But if there's one thing I can always promise you, that I'll be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.